When your masseuse goes running down the touchline celebrating a 96 minute equaliser, is it too late now to say sorry? Last weekend we went to Chelsea where we were asking fans whether they think Mauricio Sarri has had a greater impact on their defence or their attack. Attack. The attack. Yeah. Defence. Defence. He's improved the attack the most without a doubt. The attack definitely. Attack. Too obvious that one. On yeah. the attack definitely. We're a bit more offensive minded now than defensive and Hazard's free to play. The freedom he's given uh, Hazard up front, much better. We play dangerous football at the moment, we look good going forward, but coming back if someone's got some pace they get in, in behind us. The attack is better, we have a better passing system. Uh, the defence still needs some work. Improve the attack, um, we're still lacking on the defence. Attack, definitely. The defence. Attack. Conte has a much more defensive approach to the game, like we'd maybe get a goal and park the bus a bit more than Sarri, who's always looking for the attack and the extra goal. It's like Conte, but better. So that's what the fans think, now let's put it to the numbers. As Mauricio Sarri's system at Chelsea relies more on collective team actions than individual duels, we're going to look at how well they attack and defend based on where they do this on the pitch. As soon as Mauricio Sarri arrived at Chelsea, he began reshaping the team in his own image. He switched them from a defensively deep, compact 3-5-2 system that relied heavily on fullbacks as attacking outlets to the same 4-3-3 system he employed at Napoli. When compared to last season, Chelsea's current playing style has meant that their play relies a lot more on having high amounts of possession in every match, while they don't rely as much on putting crosses into the box or the compact, dogged defensive style under Conte. When we look at Chelsea's defensive style under Sarri, they've managed to massively reduce the duration of each opposition possession and how many passes the opposition completes. When we reverse these statistics and look at Chelsea in attack, we can see that they've increased the duration of each one of their possessions and the number of passes they have. They rank second only to Manchester City for both these stats, and this represents a great improvement on last season. One way we can see Sarri's high-press system working at Chelsea is that on average, they win possession 57.4 metres away from their opponent's goal, which is the second highest ball winning line in the league. This is a significant improvement on last season where they weren't better than the league average. Earlier we saw that under Sarri, Chelsea have increased the length of each possession chain and also the duration. But how do we know they're not just passing for the sake of it? When we look at this graphic, we see that on average, Chelsea are 36.3 metres away from the opponent goal at the end of each possession. These are the second best figures in the league, and combined with the fact that they have increased possession chain length, it shows that they pass with purpose in attack. So up until now, the stats we've seen seem more centred towards Chelsea having improved in defence rather than attack. But what about goals? Well, in terms of attack, Chelsea have dominated possession in every game they've played this season. They're also averaging more than two goals a game, both in goals scored and expected, which is a massive improvement last season. Defensively, they're also conceding fewer goals per game, although their expected goals conceded per game has slightly risen compared to last year, so they've looked might start running out. So where has Chelsea's main improvement been this season under Maurizio Sarri? As the great Jose once said, the truth is in the hole. And when we look at all the numbers, we see that their edge is in attack. But under an interlinked system like Sarri Ball, that's because they're winning the ball earlier, higher up the pitch, and giving it to the attacking players sooner. So there we have it. The good news for Chelsea fans is that Sarri has pretty much improved all areas of the team. Where should we go next? Let us know in the comments below. But in the meantime, this has been 3 Minute Myths, Delusions debunked in 180 seconds.